you haven't seen my first video, click the link below or just type how to replace fuel injection valve of Myanmar. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be showing you the piston ring inspection of our main engine. If you are new to my channel, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Before starting the day job, a safety talk is always conducted to discuss among the crew what are the planned maintenance of the day, the safety measures to be observed, and other instructions with the chief engineer and or the first engineer. Today, we are going to inspect the main engine piston rings, the condition of the cylinder liners through the scavenge ports. Inspections like this are crucial to collect data for future reference. This will help the engineers pinpoint early signs of wear and signs of leakage from cooling water, fuel oil, and lubricating oil. Check the piston ground for any leakages. Remember to keep cooling water, fuel oil, and lubricating oil circulating during the inspection. If oil is found on the piston, determine if it is fuel or lube oil. Fuel oil will be black and sticky, indicating a fuel valve is leaking. Lube oil will be brown and non-sticky, indicating it could be from an exhaust valve. Water on piston indicates a cooling system leak. If water is found, it is important to determine what the cause is. Use either a mirror or photo to establish if the leak is from the cylinder cover, exhaust valve, or a crack liner. When good and steady service condition have been achieved, the running surfaces of the piston rings and cylinder liner will be worn bright. This also applying to the ring undersides and the floor of the ring grooves which however cannot be seen until a piston is pulled in addition the rings will move freely in the grooves and also be well oiled intact and non unduly worn the ring edges will be sharp when the original roundings have been worn away but should be without burst Temporarily, increase the cylinder oil dosage if seizures are observed. If micro seizures as observed on the piston rings are not properly attended, by reducing the maximum combustion pressure and engine load on the respective unit and by increasing the lubrication feed rate, scuffing of the cylinder liner can occur, causing momentarily high wear of all combustion chamber parts. If over a period of time, the oil film is partially interrupted or disappearing so that dry areas are formed on the cylinder wall, these areas and the piston ring surface will, by frictional interaction, become finely scuffed and hardened. In case of extreme micro seizure, sharp bursts may form on the edges of the piston ring. A seized surface 
which has characteristic vertically striped appearance will be relatively hard and may cause excessive cylinder wear. Due to this hardness, the damaged areas will only slowly disappear if and when the oil film is restored. As long as the seizure is allowed to continue, the local wear will tend to be excessive. Seizures may initially be limited to part of the ring circumference, but since the rings are freely to turn in their grooves, it may eventually spread out over the entire running phase of the ring. The fact that the rings move in their grooves will also tend to transmit the local seizures all the way around the liner surface. If extreme seizures have been observed, it is recommended that the cylinder oil feed rate is temporarily increased. If load reduction of more than one unit is required, it is recommended to contact the engine builder for advice. If there are scratches observed in the piston rings, it may be caused by hard abrasive particles originating from the ring itself or more likely from the fuel oil or air intake. With regards to liner and ring wear, the actual scratching is not necessarily a serious problem, but the particles can have serious consequences elsewhere. The piston rings are sticking. This may be due to thick and hard deposits of carbon. The piston rings cannot move freely in their grooves. Dark areas will often appear on the upper part of the cylinder wall. This may be not visible at port inspection. This indicates a lack of sealing. That is combustion gas blow-by between piston rings and cylinder liner. Blow-by is the leakage of combustion gases between a piston and the cylinder wall. The blow-by will provoke oil film breakdown, which in turn will increase cylinder liner wear. Sticking piston rings will often lead to broken piston rings. The free movement of the rings in the grooves is essential and can be checked either by pressing them with a wooden stick through the scavenge ports or by turning the engine alternately clockwise and counterclockwise to check the free vertical movement. Broken piston rings manifest themselves during scavenge port inspection by their 1. Lack of elastic tension when the rings are pressed into the groove with a stick. 2. Blackish appearance. 3. Fractured rings. 4. Missing rings or missing ring parts. Piston ring breakage is caused by a phenomenon known as collapse. However, breakage may also occur due to continual striking against wear ridges on the cylinder liner top dead center area or other irregularities on the cylinder wall. Collapse occurs if the gas pressure behind the ring is built up too slowly and thereby exerts an inadequate outward pressure. In such a case, the combustion gas penetrate between the liner and ring and violently force the ring inward in the groove. This type of sudden shock loading will eventually lead to fracture, especially if the ring ends slam against each other. Blow-by is a leakage of combustion gas past the piston rings is a consequence of sticking, collapse, or breakage of rings. At the later stages, when complete blow-by occurs, it is usually due to sticking rings or ring breakage caused by collapse. Blow-by is indicated by black, dry areas on the rings and also by larger black dry zones on the upper part of the liner wall. This can only be seen when overhauling the piston or when exchanging the exhaust valve. In conclusion, regular inspection of piston rings, 
and liners is crucial in finding faults before it is severed and this way we can maintain our main engine in good running condition thank you for watching